Hey everybody, it's Robert Hall and today we're doing a really quick video on batteries for any of the Godox triggers. So with all of these triggers, we're talking the Godox X2T, X1T, X-Pro, the R2 Pro Mark II from Flashpoint, any of those and any of their you know, equivalents in different countries. You've got multiple options for batteries in here because they take standard double A's. So we can use alkaline double A's and standard double A's are gonna give us expected performance. We're not gonna have any misfires. Our battery gauge is gonna be accurate. Everything is gonna work great if you're using regular double A batteries, non-rechargeable alkaline batteries. But the problem with that is you're wasting batteries. So what a lot of people tend to do is use something like people use in speed lights, such as an Enoloop battery. However, most rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries are 1.2 volts instead of 1.5 volts like these. And this trigger is designed for a 1.5 volt AA battery. So what ends up happening is A, your battery gauge will never be accurate. It's always gonna say one bar, even though I just put fully charged batteries. I mean, these just came off the charger. They're 100% full. It's gonna say one out of three battery slots the entire time until the batteries are completely exhausted and the trigger dies. In addition to that, you, there's also a little bit of stability issues with using these lower voltage batteries. I just find that there's more misfires. So if you're experiencing misfires, one of the first things I tell you to do is don't use rechargeable batteries in here, just use standard AA batteries. But who wants to continue wasting double A batteries, right? It's it's annoying to replace those with fresh new batteries. It's it's e-waste. It's just not a great thing. So, here's an option that is what I would consider best of both worlds. So, these are LiPo, I think that's like lithium polymer. They are 1.5 volt batteries, so they are the same voltage as a standard alkaline battery, but you can also recharge them. They're 1.5 volts, which means there's not going to be any type of stability issues like there are using Enoloops or any standard 1.2 volt nickel metal hydride battery. Three, your battery actually says three bars when they're fully charged, so that's great. Four, they're a good deal lighter than both of these. Like they're, they're just, well, they're about the same as maybe the alkaline batteries, but they feel lighter than the Enoloops. This isn't really heavy to begin with, so that's not a huge benefit, but hey, anytime something's lighter, I like it. Now, of course, everything has its negatives. First off, these are very pricey. You're looking at, for four of them with a charger, like at least 20 bucks. I am not saying anybody should go get this specific brand, this uh, Dili Pow, the ones that I decided to try this out with. I have not tested multiple brands. I just bought the pack that were the cheapest because some of these were as much as $40 for four of them with a charger. So I bought the most affordable ones. This is probably gonna vary a lot depending on what country that you're in. So just look for 1.5 volt lithium rechargeable double A's. Additionally, these lithium batteries are 3,400 milliwatt hours in comparison to your standard blue Enoloop, that is 50% more power. So these are just gonna last a ridiculously long time. I already find like a pair of Enoloops last me probably like a month to six weeks of shooting. Um, so I imagine these are gonna last well over two months. Now, one thing, Wes Perry sent me a message when I shared these on Instagram and said that you can expect the battery gauge to kind of show full for almost the entire life of these batteries and then just crash at the end. So probably something that you should charge every month as opposed to waiting for the battery to tell you that you need to charge them. I'm no battery expert or electrician, so if you want more details on batteries, I highly recommend checking out Wes Perry's channel because he goes really in depth on the capabilities and kind of what to expect with all of the batteries. So he's much better at that than I am, so go check him out. He also covers Godox stuff in general and he's bald so I gotta support them. And that's it. I just want to put these on your radar because it combines the stability of alkaline batteries with the lack of waste that you get from rechargeable batteries. So to me, best of both worlds, and that's what I'm going to be using moving forward. All right, that's it for today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, take it easy.